Okay, looks like I'm live. Now let's share this. Let's see. Hello, not too bad. I am just currently e posting everywhere that I'm live on Twitch. Uh. 
That was a few th things. So welcome, Heidi. How's the audio? Good, good. Yeah, I've streamed a few times in the past, but it's been a while. So, let's start a new game, shall we? <laughs> but yeah, it's been multiple years since I last streamed. So yeah. I think I'll just edit this down if I want to record for YouTube. Okay, let's start with Spyro 1. Okay, rolling. Uh, oh, oh uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Or is it six? <laughs> for a dragon's age. We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganoth character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat? Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! So, yeah. He seems unhappy. Looks like I've got some things to do. Let me know if it gets weird because I'm running on a 144 hertz hertz monitor because you know would rather not have that issue <laughs> thank you for releasing me spyro free 10 dragons in the artisan world then find the balloonist he'll transport you to the next world what about nasty nork i'm going after him Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. I could have sworn. This is uh, uh, Yeah. Let's see if. Man, I'm really not good at talking. <laughs> Where's the running? Hmm. I could have sworn it was right trigger. I don't see it there. Okay, I guess it's that button. Okay, why is the camera doing that? There we go. Hopefully this won't be too dizzying. Where's nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro. You have much yeah. to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh his name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Man, if I want to record this, if I want to do not just a recording in addition to everything, it's gonna drive me crazy hearing my own voice. Oh well, what can you do? May as well unlock this secret now.
Come on. It's always the case that you're never as good when you're, you're live or recording. Probably partially because you you have to talk in addition to everything. Afraid of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers. Oh, that. Let's see, may as well go into the first level after I kill these enemies. Or at least what's generally considered the first level. I think it is. Yeah, I just... I hate the sound of my own voice, which... From what I've been able to gather, everyone does. So, you know. Loading, loading, and loading. I've been told by other people I have a good voice, but my voice drives me crazy in recordings. <laughs> oh well. You definitely don't want to lose sparks in this game though. I've actually never beaten this game, I didn't have it as a kid, and that makes it different, but yeah. This is the remake of, of, it's actually the trilogy, but this is the first, the remake of the first game. This remake has all three of the first three games in the Spyro trilogy, in the Spyro series, I should say. And from what people have said, there, it's one of the only good ones. <laughs> Whoops. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong, like me. Uh, sure. So, yeah. But, yeah. This game is made to look cute. I probably would have played it as a kid if I had a PlayStation 1. <laughs> but I never really did, so... I did get the uh, PS3 e e emulated version a while ago, but the camera controls are a little when you free a tough a in the original you're because be it was not if you a stick, so, not that you, you know. Run into trouble, Spyro. The original Spyro was made before there was a second analog stick on the uh, PS1 controller, actually. Early PS1 controllers and games didn't have dual analog which makes which is an interesting fact so a lot of earlier PS1 games okay see you in a little bit but yeah 
lots of early PS1 games. Games just didn't have dual analog. So they had to make do with some funky controls. Dual analog, it's so useful. gliding. You bet! For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump, and try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. It is funny how they had to change that dialogue. They had to change the dialogue from specific buttons to just action button and jump button because you know this is on multiple systems especially since this is the PC version sorry if it's obnoxious that I'm looking to my right all the time That's where I put my chat. One and a half giant monitors is away from the game. But yeah, I really do like this game. I just never got around to beating it because I didn't get it young enough. And it is better in the Reignited, in my opinion. I really need to adjust the FOP, but, you know. At some point in the game, I'm, I believe, from what I've read, I'm going to have to change the uh, frames per second. Based on how um, everything works. such a better camera of that active camera. Yeah, it doesn't help my anxiety about things that I'm not the most articulate person at times. Lots of pauses, lots of breathing. Probably would drive some people crazy. After you've freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! The fact that I have 176 implies to me that I have at least four that's not in that thing. Oh, 
Okay. Nope. Man. Where am I missing? Is a real question. Or not. Maybe not. Yeah. That's what I thought. Initially. I'm surprised how little was in that chest, though. Oh, well. Now to look forever for one or two. Because that's always fun. I don't know if the 720p is also a problem because this monitor is at 1440p so you know <laughs> hopefully nothing's too blurry hopefully since it's a factor of 2 especially it won't be a problem I guess I can do this. Forgot about that. There it is. Okay. That was, was in the in the next two games, except they added it it to all of the levels in the remake. No need to worry about that. Let's see where er, he's pointing. There he is. There it is. Okay. Good. You can tell I haven't played this game to death like I have of a lot of the games I've covered on stream and YouTube. Because I don't know where everything is. I don't think this is the right way. I could make it the right way. Welcome back, Heidi. Yeah, that's fine if you're in and out. That, that is completely normal. <laughs> As I probably don't have to tell you that. Now I'm looking for the exit to this area. I don't think it's down there. Hopefully the fact that it's higher res is not a problem. Yeah, I did... Sorry for bumping my mic. I did like a hundred videos was on YouTube in the past like over the course of like four years and it's been like two years since the last time I made any videos but yeah I might put it on there I don't know if it's any good but you know I used the shortcut of just record on XSplit to skip doing the to skip having to edit and hear my own voice just basically segmented it live but yeah I might put it in discord yeah just You know, sometimes you can be self-conscious about things. <laughs> no.
did a bunch of videos on something that Sar some things that Sarge wouldn't like. Just not to his taste. They were pretty niche. <laughs> oh, and if if you're like, he, why does he keep looking to his right? That is because the chat is one and a half gigantic monitors away from mm, my webcam. Whoops. <laughs> Come on. So, something useful about the dragonfly is, well, the dragonfly is your health, and he also helps you pick up gems. So, they did that, did the helping pick up gems thing to encourage you to... to And tying it to your health to encourage you to know, okay, it's annoying that my health is low. Let's sure get some health. Of course they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Hopefully the camera mode I'm using isn't too dizzying. I prefer the camera mode, but I can see where there's some people would be a little dizzy. Apparently the other camera mode is the only option in the Japanese version and except even worse because th apparently they have motion sickness issues in Japan which is interesting lots of people complain about being motion sick like from like the betas of this game in Japan so they made the camera real bad <laughs> in response Okay. There we go. But yeah. Huh. I didn't know that didn't take health. That's interesting. Going through the game pretty fast, actually. But I have not completed this game, so it's gonna. I've gotten through some of it, so it's. So I might get a little stuck at some point. <laughs> I've seen several let's plays of it, but you know, not always translate. Does not always translate, especially with the fact that lots of let's plays. Just outright cut out any I'm confused moments. Partially because a lot of them, it takes a while to get out of the, the I'm confused part. But yeah. But yeah, I'm. I'm actually recovering from surgery, so I don't know if this is a good idea to stream, but, you know. Man, I am missing a lot of gems in this level. I don't know where they are. Gems are useful for unlocking the final part of the game. 
So you want them if you want to do 100%. And 100% is pretty fun in, in games like this, in my opinion. Some people disagree. Big enemies like this north with the club cannot be charged. But a quick play, that should defeat them. All dragons found, so maybe. No. It definitely will have a multiple of a hundred. So. I'm nowhere near the amount. I've heard that with this game, there's some parts where or on the PC version, you have to relock the... Oh, I got an achievement for that. But anyway, there are some points at which you have to change the frame rate from unlimited to... Ooh. Yeah. To 30 frames per second, or you just can't make certain jumps. Which is lovely. Hopefully that doesn't cause an issue with recording, actually. That would be interesting. I think I may have found it. That's good. I'm surprised there's only a hundred gems in this level. Interesting. Return home. I also considered streaming at like 4 a.m. and decided against it. Probably not wise, at least in terms of whether or not people who, who in my time zone will actually watch. For me to do it that early. <laughs> Especially since I pretty often do pretty short streams. You know. Causing a lot of dead air in this case. That's probably obnoxious. Loading and loading and loading. Tends to load a while when... You know. I have a pretty fast hard drive, but I'm guessing the game rate limits it to a minimum. I guess it's not a hard drive, it's an SSD, but... Welcome. 
Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. I say, but yeah, too much, but oh well. Lots and lots of saying, but as well. That sounds bad out of context, but oh well. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wig. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? I did, in fact, know that, uh, Chef Dragon. But, since this could be the first level you chose, I don't blame him. Especially since you need it for this level, if you want to get 100%. They definitely added quite a bit more expressiveness into the dragons in, in this version. So that's really nice. Dear, this one always has a tough time. You always have a tough time with this guy. Or at least lots of people do. There we go. Second try, not too bad. Whoops. Second try and then I immediately fall into doom. I think he doesn't have a dragon egg the second time if you've already. Oh, maybe I missed a dragon egg. Interesting. Yeah, he doesn't have a dragon egg now. So that's good. Hello, Sarge. Yeah, that's fine. It. I picked a weird time to uh, stream, I know. <laughs> and that's okay. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. You can always check your progress by accessing the guidebook through the pause yeah. menu. But yeah, it's fine. Even that you can't stay long. <laughs> I 
I don't pick the best streaming times, <laughs> I'll be honest. Fair enough. Yeah. Real life friends come first, especially when you're in the presence of them. Yeah, we know each other real IRL, but... Better to focus on the person that's there than to focus on someone who's streaming. Just about every one of these that I've you've done, every one of the levels I've done today, I've missed a gem somewhere. So that's fun. Missed a few gems somewhere. It's probably right here, yep. <laughs> okay, so there's 200 of 200 there. It's pretty good. I haven't beaten beaten any of the games in it yet, but it controls well. One tip I have is make sure you go into the options and set camera to active instead of the default, which is passive. Because passive makes makes it look like this which or apparently it does a little bit but passive I don't know for some reason the first bit where I had it set to passive oh well <laughs> and the active versus passive was actually a problem in the original so yeah. But yeah. Active's much better in my, <laughs> my opinion. And it was always a tip I read at, for the original. <laughs> I don't feel like doing the flying levels currently. I can do them another time. I believe I have a boss fight to do now. It's him and possibly other people. Okay, thank you. Have fun, and Sarge. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. Are you ready to go? Yeah, he just left. That's okay. He had other things to do. And in case anyone on stream watching the stream was wondering, I was talking to my sister. It's 
kind of like I'm doing super sampling anti-aliasing with the fact that I'm at much higher resolution than I'm than I'm streaming at. If you feel you are ready. Streaming at 720p, outputting, and the game is actually at 1440p. Confronting Toasty. Fun, fun, fun. For some reason, the few, few times I've done this, I always die a few times. Done this level. I think it might be best that you don't charge most of these enemies, and that's why. I think I always used to charge. I always, the previous times I've played this level, charged. I make funny faces sometimes. That's something I've noticed. Man, it's annoying not having sparks. most devious henchman in charge of the devious huh bring him on i think i smell a barbecue be careful spyro toasty has many tricks up his sleeve toasty has many tricks huh This is considered a very easy fight normally. And it really kind of is, just so long as you don't screw up like I just did. Hopefully, the last gems are in those chests. Looks like they in fact are good. Oh, so this level is complete, that's good. That level 100% complete to me implies that, and after the boss fight and not collecting something in the overworld, it implies to me that that means the entire world's complete. So I don't have to worry about that possible missing dragon egg. That is good. That is very good. To the peacekeepers world if you like are you ready to go let's go to the peacekeepers <gasps> I 
Loading, loading, loading. This is about as far as I've gotten in my playthroughs. Who's normally... <laughs> Maybe one level into here. Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. I pretty often pretty aggressively modify cameras so hopefully that's not being too dizzying Let's just go into a level instead of, of collecting everything. I think I might usually s select a different level th than this first. This is probably supposed to be the first level of this area. Oh well. that you have to jump over it. Didn't know you could do that. That's interesting. What? Huh? Oh. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Got an achievement for something with that bird. Called Bird Brained. Rescue Boris. Don't know why I chose to say him. Good gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. <laughs>
it here. I'm back down to no sparks. Hate you know, it when I'm in that mode. Sparks is so useful. So, so useful. That sounds more sarcastic than I meant it, but oh well. Is that you, Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you were a wee puff of smoke, we've known, uh, You've known... Ah, uh, I forget. <laughs> Me sometimes. I tend to forget what I was about to say a lot, which is always fun. That was a fall down into a bottomless pit. Let's see if this works. Nope. Okay. So, that's probably gotten either through better gliding or from a different spot. And possibly th through a different means. At least I have sparks back. That's nice. Always nice when. Yeah, I'll sparks back. Probably can get there from here. So, that's what I'll do. It'll be a little embarrassing if I get a game over, but oh well. I like to take things in stride when I can, so I'll just take that in stride. That shouldn't work like that. Turns out I needed the key first. Dang it. That's too bad. Guess I'll go get that when I can. Didn't notice it was my controller was rumbling until just now. Seems to be rumbling every time I jump. That's interesting. Every time I do very... a lot of things actually, so... It's a very light rumble though, so that's interesting. Sorry. Itchy. 
Kenshi, so. I think the answer just might be Yeah, I'm, I don't know if I'm good at streaming, but what can you do? <laughs> I guess practice is what I can do, but yeah. I seem to recall a lot of people having a tough time with this jump. I might have to see if changing the frame rate hopefully it doesn't mess up the stream, but anyway, changing the frame rate might make this jump easier. Because I did hear rumors that there were some severe issues with physics being somewhat tied to uh, frame rate to some degree. Okay, that was just bad angling. Going around and around and around. Circles and circles and circles. just come back for this and a little later like I did and with sunny flights I'm not sure we'll see oh yeah since sunny flights wasn't complete probably wasn't a hundred percent complete of the uh, that's not great. So yeah, I'll deal with those at another time. 
I don't know if I'll even complete this game 100% like... Yeah. Right into the pit. Right into the pit. Maybe it's a different version of that. Mm. Random thoughts. Hey, Spyro! Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. Lots and lots of butterflies. Oh yeah, I think I have gone in this level a couple of times. I don't know why Sparks is not at full health. That's weird. Fortunately, now he is. Word of caution, little one. Wait until you grow big, <coughs> like me, before charging those large enemies. Maybe. I wonder if I had already changed the camera. Hello, Cougar. Spyro, some big norks up ahead are wearing armor. And in the ice cave, armor can make their feet very slippery. Hmm. 
Welcome to the stream. No, I don't know why I said that in a weird voice. It just happens to me sometimes. I don't know how to kill that enemy. Interesting. Guess I'll find out soon. Probably. Oh, that's how. Okay. I see now. Fun. Red Dead Redemption 2. Heard that's a good game. A really long game, but a fun game nonetheless. <laughs> Actually, I'm sure that's a positive for a lot of people. It really is for me, actually. That's pretty far into the game, though. Thank you for releasing me. Almost complete? That's cool. Whoops, I was looking at chat. Yeah, I have no context for or what uh, the what the actual story is for that. So I don't know what's going on there. Like I said, I've heard it's a good good game though. Western in the style of Shawshank Redemption, I believe is the movie that they were going for. I don't think I'm supposed to jump up, up this direction, but oh well. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to get up, up that, uh, that ledge. But yeah, Spyro is something that I've just me meant to play for a while. This is about as far as I've ever gotten. And I've played it a couple of times on various versions of the Reignited Trilogy, but I just never got around to this game. Partially because I didn't grow up with the original. Come on. <laughs> See you later, Cougar. Have a good time with whatever you're doing next.
Ah, crap. I fell in the purple you again. I'm not great at... I don't know. I just feel self-conscious with things. You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready. But I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Uh, ready for what? All dragons found. And good go getting attitude, Spyro. Certainly not my real life attitude <laughs> Just sexual lives. Interesting. Yeah, I think those are just sexual lives. Cool. I almost just went off the edge. That would have been kind of funny. I don't think I did, but yeah, that's what I thought. I don't know where all those gems are, though. Probably missed something. Like I keep doing. There's some gems too. Interesting. Oh great. I need a key. And I don't have one. Fun, fun, fun. the key. Whoops. At least there's a save point right here. And I uh, fell again. Always fun. At least I have the key now.
I don't know why it's doing that <laughs> sometimes. That's weird. Trying to speed up and almost falling off as a result. That would have been fun. supposed to heal. There we go. I was about to say at least I have you know, some things to heal with and then <laughs> you saw what happened. direction at the start of the level. Fifteen sixty one. I know this is a short stream, but I think I'm just going to have to stop for now because. I'm starting to hurt, unfortunately. So yeah. Well, thanks for coming to the stream, everyone. Hope you had fun. S see ya. Maybe I should see if I can raid someone. Let's see. Mute that. Let's see if there's someone to raid. I have never done a raid, so that's interesting. Yeah, I guess that's what he would be. That's. Mm -hmm. Yep. Alright, so let's see. Alright, well, I guess we'll see ya. Have a good day, everyone.